if statements are incredibly powerful logic tests that you can use to really quickly go through a bunch of data in your spreadsheet. So let me show you through one of my use cases. So an if statement is something where you can ask the question, if something happens, or if data is in the cell, do this, otherwise do this. And a lot of times they work best if you nest them, so if you include several if statements at a time. So here's one example. I had this spreadsheet where I was actually feeding from a form where people would submit uh, for different categories of points. And I wanted this to calculate automatically. Well, on the sheet or on the form, I had them choose their category, which included a lot of extra stuff that I did not want. So I needed to break that down to a number, and I used an if function to do that. So you can see my example up here. Now it's a pretty gnarly if, but it's simple if you break it down. So you start with the first if. If, and then what's the logical expression? What are you looking to happen? So if e2, which is this cell, is equal to, and then there's the text, then we're going to give it a score of 5. It's a level 5. If it's not, then we need to go to the next level and check and see if it's level 4. And so on and so forth all the way down the line until we get to the last logical test here, which is to see if it's equal to level 1. And if it's not equal to any of those things and something's broken, and it should be a 0. Uh, but that's essentially how an if works. Just if, what's the logical test? Is something equal to something else? Uh, is something less than something else? Is something greater than something else? These are the things to consider. So we also have other types of if statements. One of these is called a count if. So what this does is it will count, but only if a certain criteria is met. So I wanted to look at how many total submissions certain teachers put in. So this is a simple count if. I counted if the range that I'm looking at, so that's on the evidence sheet, and that's just the entire column B, and that's where the names would go. So in this range, if this name appeared, what's in B2, which is Aaron's name, then it's going to count it. That's it. That's the only criteria I wanted there. So if it finds that name, it's going to count it. And then it's going to search that whole column and count all the instances. So it came up with 66. I did not have to count those. And then sum if is very similar. What sum if allowed me to do is do the same thing. Look at that range. Look for a specific criteria, which in this case was the name. And then if it found the name, then it would go to this column, and this would be the range that it would sum. So it would find all of the numbers that would be in there, and then it would add them together. So that is if, count if, and sum if. And especially when you're dealing with a lot of data, it can process it very quickly, and they become very powerful logical statements for you to use.